Okay, so to be completely honest with you, I had no plans to cam up until about, oh, uh, let's see, Tuesday or Wednesday. But I saw a certain in particular individual's video that caught my attention already. You know, it caught my spice up, got me fired up. To be honest with you, I've been fired up about this game since the game yesterday ended. I said, the hell with the fucking experts, the hell with the stats, the hell with the records, the hell with everything. Why can't we beat the Dallas Cowboys? Huh? Why can't we beat the Dallas Cowboys? We couldn't beat the Chiefs, right? We couldn't beat the Seahawks, right? We were going to have trouble with Saint the Saints yesterday, right? Granted, that was a closer game than I thought it would be. We still got the job done. We, over the past five games in our winning streak, three of them being against highly offensive teams, we've only allowed 12.8 points on this five-game, average in this five-game win streak. 64 points in five games. 12.8 points a game. Okay. Our defense has a takeaway in every one of those five games. A pick six in, I want to say, two or three of them. Why can't we beat the, the fucking Cowboys? We made Phillip Rivers struggle. We made Russell Wilson struggle. We made Drew Brees struggle. Drew Brees did not throw a touchdown pass yesterday. That is very rare, especially against us. Why can't we fuck up a rookie with the name of Dak Prescott? Why not? He's not as experienced as Phillip Rivers or Drew Brees or Russell Wilson. He might be mobile, but then again, so is Russell Wilson. Shut him down too. Why can't we beat the fucking Cowboys? Huh? You tell me. All we got is Mike Evans? Outside of Mike Evans, all we got? We're getting Adam Humphreys back this week. We got Cameron Bray. Okay? Doug Martin has been struggling this week. He might not get much done against the run defense. Okay, I can accept that. We're going to get forced to pass. But you bitches allowed a 60, what was it, a 64-something yard play to Odell Beckham over the middle on a slant pattern? Oh, man. Don't even get me started. I see, my voice is still riled up from yesterday, and y'all trying to get me fired up. There's no doubt in my mind we can't beat the Dallas Cowboys. No doubt in my mind. We're walking into Jerry's world. We're going to give you a hell of a fight. Whether we win or lose, it will be a hell of a fight. It will be a defensive battle. Whatever happens, the team with the better defense in this game will win. This game, this game comes down to defense. And both of our teams have a hell of a defense. And both of our teams have a hell of an offense when they decide to spark up. If I may recall, you only scored seven points last night against a very good Giants defense that wasn't even fully healthy. What's going to happen when you play a damn near fully healthy Bucks defense? Come on now. What are you going to do against Vernon Hargraves? Altron Werner, Brett Grimes. Bradley McDougal, Keith Tandy, and God for bless your hearts if Chris Conte comes back. Levante David, Quan Alexander, Daryl Smith. What are you going to do when they're coming at you? What's that going to do? He's going to be running for his life all night. Can we be you? T. Spence is so confident that he can beat us. Has he not been watching us the past five games? We get national attention, baby. People are finally recognizing who we are. Fuck the Dallas Cowboys. I don't give a fuck what their record is. We're coming into Jerry's world. We're giving you bitches a hell of a fight. And we just might walk out of there with a W. Why can't we beat the Cowboys? Listen to me. Why can't we speak the... I can't speak. I'm so fired up, I can't speak. 
Why can't we beat the Dallas Cowboys? <laughs> I'm waiting. So calm. Might be the most confident game I've been all year. <laughs> you were confident you were going to beat the Giants too, right? <laughs> like I said, you're playing a damn near perfectly healthy defense. And you played a banged up defense last night and you only managed to score seven points. <laughs> Every quarterback we have played in the last five games has thrown one or more interceptions. Jay Cutler, I think he threw two. No surprise there. Alex Smith, he threw one. Russell Wilson, he threw two. Phillip Rivers, he threw two. Drew Brees threw three. So what's the rookie going to do? Kiss my ass with your 11 and 3 record. Kiss my ass with your already clinched playoff spot. Kiss my fat ass if you're trying to go for the first round bye. But you ain't going to get it easily. I'm not coming on here and calling for a victory. I'm saying, why can't we win this game? And I'm also saying, we're coming in and we're giving y'all one hell of a fight. So strap your chin straps. I can't. Oh my god. Strap your chin straps. Tighten up that helmet. Tighten up your pads. Because the Tampa Bay Bucks are coming into Jerry's world. Getting ready to kick some ass. This ain't going to be as easy as you call it to be, Spence. <laughs> Why can't we beat the Dallas Cowboys? That's my motto for the week. Stand up, Buck Nation. We got national attention this week, baby. We getting that love. Our game against the Saints in two weeks has been moved to 425. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's a big deal. Motherfuckers is finally recognizing. <clears throat> we can beat the Dallas Cowboys. But it's going to be one hell of a fight to do it. Let's go 